I am a 17-year-old boy that lives in a small suburban area. My parents are now on day four of their seven-day cruise. I finally convinced them to let me stay home alone without any supervision. Now, I am regretting it. It all started the day before my parents' departure. I kept hearing footsteps above me, even though we live in a one-story home. My mum kept trying to convince me that it was just the house creaking, but for some reason, I had this unsettling feeling that there was actually something up there. After hours of convincing, my mum finally agreed to call pest control to come and see if there was any traces of rodents or pests trapped in our attic. The pest control arrived later that afternoon to check the attic. They didn't find anything out of the ordinary, but said that they would bomb the attic as a precautionary. We had to leave the house for an hour, which was fine with me, considering it would give me peace of mind. We got back to the house about an hour and a half later, to a note on the counter saying that the attic was bombed and that we shouldn't have any more problems in the near future. That night, I slept peacefully. The next morning, my parents left for their cruise, leaving me home alone. Night one. I was in my room playing video games when I heard the footsteps again. It was brief, but I know what I heard. I convinced myself that maybe it was whatever rodent up there dying out and that I should just forget about it. So I did, and the rest of that night was quiet. Night two. I left the hall light on, closed and locked my bedroom door and began to try to fall asleep. I have to say, it was pretty weird being in the house totally alone, especially because of how quiet our neighbourhood is at night. As I was falling asleep, I heard something that made me sit up in my bed. At that moment, as I looked toward the light through the bottom of my door, I saw a shadow pass by. I shot up out of my bed to ensure that I had locked my door. Thankfully I did. I tiptoed back to my bed and sat there, waiting for some sort of sound to emerge. That was when I heard our refrigerator door open and gently close. I knew it was the fridge because my room is right next to the kitchen and I've heard this noise plenty of times. At this point, I felt helpless. So of course, I called the cops. After 30 minutes of waiting, they finally arrived. They searched the house and found nothing. They said there was no signs of forced entry and that I was probably just on edge since it was my first time staying alone. After they left, I knew something still didn't feel right. I barely slept that night. Night 3. It was about 11pm and I felt exhausted considering I'd only gotten a few hours of sleep the previous night. I fell asleep without any problems. I woke up a few hours later with a feeling that I was being watched. I jumped out of my sleep and turned on my table lamp. Everything looked just as it did when I went to bed. I fell back to sleep, but this time with the lamp on. Day 4. The next morning I woke up and got ready for school. As I went to leave my room, I noticed the door was unlocked. Now, I tell you that even though I was exhausted, I know for a fact that I triple checked the lock on my bedroom door before going to bed. I think someone watched me sleep when I got home from school that day. There were several police cars on my street, which was rare because as I mentioned before, I live in a small suburban area. I asked one of my neighbors who was standing outside if she knew what was going on. She said that someone had discovered two bodies in the woods behind our neighborhood. She said, and that's when my whole body went numb, that it was two employees from the local pest control company. I am now at my aunt and uncle's, which is about two hours away from home. I am not sure what to make of all that has happened, but I do know that someone is living in my attic. <laughs>